Hello. Hello. This is where I'm hiding. Good luck finding me here. I bet it's Zermatt. Fuck. We're playing hide and seek across Switzerland over the next four days. We're starting Lucerne as the seekers. While I got a two and a half hour lead to get to my hiding spot here. Yeah, I think this is gonna take them a while. Welcome to our four day game of hide and seek across Switzerland. The goal is simple, hide for as long as we can without being found. Based on a random draw, Ben and I are starting as the seekers. Dude, I forgot how much I love their audio. Like the noises all the stuff makes. Where's my camera spot again? Is here good? We're in Lucerne and Adam, the hider, is, well, we don't know. In order to figure it out, we'll have to buy information from him about his location, choosing from the 76... Dang it, this isn't a good spot. Okay, right here. Relative radar photo oddball precision. Questions on our giant question menu. Adam has to answer truthfully, but in exchange, he'll get coins that he can use to buy curses that will slow us down. Once we find Adam, positions will rotate and it'll be someone else's turn to hide. After four days, whichever player has had the single longest hiding run wins. We'll get more into the other rules once they're relevant. Right now, Adam's clock is ticking, so Ben and I need to figure out what information we should buy so we can start heading in Adam's direction. Oh, that's fun. Hide and seek. You can do things to get money to spend to pay the person who's hiding to find out where they are. But the person who's hiding gets the money, which then in turn slows down the seekers. Ah. Turn cam off. It's Ramadan. Wait, shit. Wait, isn't it fine after sunset? Isn't that chill? It's dead ass 10 p.m. Like, where, where in the world are you? I feel like you're just complaining for the sake of complaining. <laughs> Time zones? Where in the world are you? Hawaii? It's also after sunset in Hawaii! I feel like you're making up a fake person right now. Because even in the UK, it is also still not sunrise. So I feel like you're making up a fake person. India? I don't, I feel like, okay, now I just feel like you're trying to find a place. Now I just feel like you're trying to find a place here. Okay, so right now Adam could be pretty much anywhere in the country. Yeah, he got a two and a half hour head start. Do you have any guesses, Sam? Because it would be great if we didn't have to ask any questions. Uh, well, I mean, there is logic to going to higher elevation so that this is uh, snow. Okay, so they're probably gonna start buying information off of me soon. So I'm gonna go ahead into town because some of the questions involve like having to do stuff and I think most of it's gonna be easier if I'm there. So let's go. Okay, okay, so we're there. Adam is, we don't know. Probably like, <laughs> he could be like anywhere within here. Yeah. Um, now, there are a lot of questions we can ask. There are different categories. Okay, let's talk about the categories. There are five types of information we can buy. Relative information compares some element of the hider's position to the seekers. What you don't have to turn your camera off. It's just basically trying to respect people who are practicing Ramadan, so you're not, like, fucking teasing them by eating food because they're not eating food for the duration that the sun is up. But where 99% of my viewership is, the sun is down. Whether their elevation is higher or lower than ours, whether they're in the same canton, and so on. The radar allows seekers to find out whether or not the hider is within a certain distance from us. 50 miles, 10 miles, 500 feet, etc. Photo requests force the hider to send a picture of something in their hiding zone, like the tallest visible mountain, a local church, or the train station. Oddballs force the hider to complete some task that might give away some information. For example, FaceTime the seekers until you can show them a bird, send them 30 seconds of audio from your local train station, things like that. And finally, once the seekers find the town where the hider is, they'll use precision questions to pinpoint their exact location. Here's the thing. I think that we need a direction to go. I think we want to ask longitude to figure out whether he's east or west of us. Because we're basically smack dab in the middle of the country, so I'll split it into two. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to buy that piece of information, and then uh, we'll see what he says. Chat, we can just move on and watch the damn, the damn, the damn um, video. I don't think the idea of being or acknowledging that it exists and then trying to 
uh, like assist anyone who's participating is a wholly bad thing. And I usually don't eat on cam. But I don't, in this specific circumstance, feel like I'm doing something that is very disrespectful. Or like, you know, even that bothers some. Um, okay. So they have just bought my relative longitude. Uh, I don't love that. I would have much rather they asked my relative latitude because that's much less useful. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Probably. I'll text them. Okay, Adam has said that he, his longitude is higher, which means he shit. is east of us. Okay, so that's, that's really good to know because the, the eastern part of the country, it's like more nothing. Yeah, I mean, except for Zurich. There's the whole Zurich city. Look, I, I got a gut feeling. If I know Adam, you know, we're like those twins that have the secret language that we can talk. All right, we got to do W's in chat. Until everybody types a W, we will not move forward. I will not have my jet lag wa uh, watching experience be tarnished. By every single guy with every single opinion in chat. <laughs> Acting like every alternative opinion is somehow the majority. Alright, we may not continue. With the sure. mines. Sure. I feel like he's in the mountains. I feel like he went to the mountains. Oh, there's a snow plow coming up here. Hello. Oh. There's a bit of a soul read you need to do in this game. Hello, friend. Well, okay, if he is in the mountains, then, like, what do we do? Because the mountains would be south of us, whereas the populated bit would be north of us. I feel like it'd be beast to hide in plain sight. Like, not leave Lucerne. I guess maybe you'd get found out quickly. But I think it'd be, that's what I would try. I mean, is there any way for us to head, Antonio, like, think it's ungifted? straight east? Not really, I don't think. Maybe it's worth asking another question whether he's south or north yeah we're just killing time though we are killing time i mean every every minute matters but the problem I, is every question category has a 30 minute cooldown, so ben and sam can't ask other relative questions for 30 minutes woo v shoes thank you very much for the twitch prime and for creating a conversation in your chat because someone's going to say how are you getting twitch prime you're on youtube no i think if we go the wrong way yo you're right i think yeah maybe the north south makes sense i mean when when can we ask that five minutes Look, it's a little stone guy. Hello, Cute. stone guy. Hi, stone guy. This place rocks. All right, we're just going go to go to the train station. It's just right over here. All right, I think it's time. We don't really know whether we want to go towards Zurich. I need an event in history to make a project about. The emu war. Eric, or we want to go down into the mountains. So we're gonna we're gonna ask if he's north or south of us. Um, all right, I'm firing it off. Go for it. All right, so they've asked for my relative latitude. So that's another forty coins. That's good. So that does tell them that I'm in the southeast, which is like a relatively sparse area. Um, I don't necessarily love that they know that this early. I mean, I'll let them know. Brad, thank you for joining Paradise Club. What did he say? South. The I war didn't happen. Know. Found the Australian. <laughs> Yo, don't be so cringe about it, man. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, the emus aren't here, bro. He's in the mountains. So here's the issue. If Adam's in the southeast, it means he took either this small isolated line to Engelberg or this busier route to the greater southeast. We don't know which he took, but if we want to move now, which we really should, we'll have to gamble and pick one. So I think we just gotta, we gotta gamble, I think. Um, if we wanna move, which I think it makes sense, we gotta gamble. I think it would be crazy you, for us to commit to Masi one me. town, two questions in. It would be, but of course he knows that. I know he knows that. I, I think it does make more sense to take the higher frequency thing because it'll be high frequency enough that we can bail and come back. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay. Take the gamble. Nah, they're too smart. 
Okay, it is Sam, Adam, and Ben all competing. We want to root for our champion here. I'm going to root for... Give me a Ben W. I find that Ben's wins often come, and I hate to say this, a bit off the back of Adam's work. Okay? So I would like for Ben to prove himself in the in the in the war of intellectual ideas against his against his counterparts. He won last season? Wouldn't know I didn't watch. Charlie stopped streaming. Time to watch my number two in parentheses joke. Is it a joke if you actually went from Charlie's stream to my stream and then typed it? <laughs> or is it the truth? And then you just wrote the word joke after it. I'm not hurt. I am happy to be a sloppy seconds, by the way. My viewership has gone up 500. Many of you chuckle fucks are here from Charlie, and I will take that. But that means Adam's not there. Does that make sense? Sorry, someone said they're taking a shot every time I pause. <laughs> There's some little elf guys on there. This place is full of little guys. There's a little guy there. Hello. Okay, so this is almost certainly going to jinx me, but um, I think the key to this hiding spot is I really don't want them to know how much snow is here. Uh, for as long as possible. Smart. The worst questions for that, the one I'm really scared of, which I'm for sure gonna jinx myself, is they make me send them a picture of five buildings in the same frame, because I don't think the buildings here are dense enough that I'd be able to take a picture without any snow in it. True. I think we should ask a photo question. They're going to say the line. Yeah, photo question might be helpful. Say the line, okay, yeah, Sam. Let's buy, let's buy a photo from him. Um, what kind of photo do you want to buy from him, Sam? Five buildings? He's going to say mean, it? The, the five ah. buildings one. Maybe. I feel like that one's the most likely to give us some sort of incidental information. Right. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, incredibly slippery here. One of the slipperiest uh, places I've ever experienced. We're gonna just for sure not die. Oh my god. That was terrifying. On the street, please. I'm gonna Beautiful, go though. inside this little restaurant. So I think five buildings one. I think you're right. My strategy, I would go to a small village. I would get a job at a local inn. I would learn their language. I would blend in with them so much that even if they knew that my exact location, they would think I'm a local. Incidental information, likely. Okay, we can do that one. Let's go ahead and buy that photo. Perhaps a local bakery. We'll analyze it while we're on our way. You get fired day one. Well, this sucks. Hurtful, but true. Okay, we got 20 minutes to do the best we can. Okay, okay, okay. Hitman okay. strat. The key to this I would kill is, several people in town. Is there a way that I can frame five <laughs> I would put them in dumpsters and wear their clothes. There is a ton of snow here. Uh, the answer is I don't know. Shit, shit, shit. All right, so this is like three buildings. Yeah. Yeah, that's nothing. I could like shoot down this way, but One, you two, can three, totally four, five. see all the snow. Oh, uh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. This is the exact one I didn't want. One, two, three, four, Just shoot five. it high. Shoot it down up. I think if I zoom, just right. I can, yeah. That's pretty. Oh my god, what an evil. Wait, you're leaving a street sign in? What are you, daft? Pretty good. Oh, he blurred okay, it. Done. Send. He blurred it. Sending. Send. Oh, there we go. We got the photo. That is quite the tight framing. I mean, those buildings do look mountainous seekers are banned from using google street view i was gonna say you give rainbolt 35 seconds in a zin he's at your doorstep but the other thing i'm noticing is they look very new like they look very clean they look very new they also look dry it's wet huh? it's wet yes yeah <laughs> That's European charm right there.
<laughs> that's European and Americans, man, like water and oil. It is wet. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I actually feel pretty good about how that went. I I kind of didn't think I was going to be able to do it. But I mean, that's five buildings cleanly in there. That was a good shot. No snow. So that was a good shot. Chad doesn't want to give it to you, but that was a great shot, Adam. Yeah, so my conclusions are mountainous town and potentially, given how new these buildings look, like a touristy town. Yeah, like somewhere pretty wealthy. We're like looking at two That's sort of similar... A ski town, perhaps. Um, nearby Sorry, Alt. Thank you very much for the press. ...that both seem like sort of Swiss, like resort towns. One is called Engelberg, and one is called... Andermont, and we don't want to get too far from here if he is in Engelberg, because we would have to go all the way back around to get to him. So I actually think the the, the tool to use right now would be a 25-mile radar, because Smart. if he was in Engelberg, Damn, ben. That, would, that would hit him. But if he was in Andermont or anywhere other than here, in this little region, it wouldn't mm. hit him. Mm. Be bro, Ben is, he's on another level. He's on another level. Does he get drunk this season? I hope he does. I guess it's I have not finished USA season eight. No. Worth it. I think it's I think it's worth it to know whether we should continue or not. Yeah, no, that's pretty valuable because that could mean that that could mean hours of difference. Yeah, no, I think that shit. we need to just make sure. Okay. Should I send it? Yeah. All right. Let's go explore a little bit more. Tones, um, thank you. And let's also scope out some potential final hiding spots. Okay. 25 mile. Okay, well, they have hit me with a 25 mile radar. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna let them know. All right, we got a response. Ooh. Okay. Our radar was a miss. It means that he's not an angle bird. Well, it that's good. That we didn't make the wrong decision getting on this trip. That's worse for Adam. I don't think to pull up our very scientific map again. It doesn't seem like he could have really gotten into this canton here. So that means that he's probably either in this one or this one. We're going to be in, in this ah. one, which is called Yuri, right? Yes. We're going to be in that one. Yuri is a trainer who so trains. So we can check and see if he's in that one. Yeah, yeah, might be worth it. Just yeah. worried about spending all these spending all these coins. Eighty, one ten. I have one hundred twenty-five coins. Damn, so that's enough for two cursed dice. Wait, cursed dice? All right, all right. Let's finally talk about what these coins are for. In order to slow us down, Adam can use his coins to buy curses. Many curses force the seekers to complete challenges before continuing to move or ask questions. Others place harsh limitations on their movement or what questions they can ask, and the very best curses can even allow the hider to completely change their hiding location. But Adam doesn't just get to pick which curse he wants to buy. When you buy a curse, you roll dice to see which one you get. The higher the number, the better the curse. For a better shot, the fuck just happened? At a high tier curse, you can pay more to roll more dice at 50 coins apiece. So 100 coins to roll two dice, 150 coins to roll three dice, and so on. Now, back to Adam. And I. Oh my god, Coots, you scared the ever living out of me. Can't just be running up like that. Hi. Hi, Coots. Hi, Coots. Come here. You wanna watch that lag? Come here. I kind of think I should. I think you wait a bit. Use them? All right, Let's. Bring around screen. Get to some shelter. You don't wanna. You think the church is open? Huh. Dude, I honestly thought he was about to pray. Is wait till they're on a train and then roll the dice. Okay, they're on the train. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna I know, but he's not gambling in the church right now. <laughs> I know he's not letting those dice ring in the church right now. I have two dice. I'll add 
that number together. He's gambling and applying a curse in the church. And now we can do it's go it's gonna be a horrible roll. I know I already know it's gonna be a horrible roll. Seven. William Tell Curse. Before you ask your next question, you must knock an apple off your partner's head from a distance of 15 feet. If you fail, you must wait five minutes before trying again. <laughs> That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Uh, this rocks. Look at the mountains. Seven's God's number. To be fair, he kind of gets a lot. Like, you know. There's a lot that you can kind of give to him. He gets 40, he gets 12, he gets 7. Look how pointy that is. That's very pointy. I feel like the mountains we have in the U.S. are not that pointy. No, the Alps are definitely Three. pointier, which is a big feature. It's Sam, bad we've, news. we've gotten hit with a, a bit of a curse. William Tell. Good news. He used two dice to get that. Yeah. And that's a pretty bad one to have got. Like, that's literally the lowest. Well, actually, no, that's not. But it's a pretty low one to have gotten for two dice. That doesn't worry me that much. No. Considering the William Tell curse, and also considering how much of the canton we've excluded based on the 25 mile radius. Check it out. This is we use science to determine that. Considering all of that, it kind of makes sense for us to seemingly go all the way down to Goshenen, because yeah. that's where we would transfer to a lot of stuff they would want to get to anyway. And we can get the apple curse cleared. And then he means that if you roll one dice, the best thing you can get is the level six curse. But if you roll two dice, the best thing you can get is the level 12 curse. Now, although seven is the average, it is the lowest level two curse you can get. Ask more questions based on that. Um, They're continuing to get closer. The lowest is two, but that's a level one curse. You're not understanding. I don't blame you. Keep up, buddy. <laughs> There's two levels. Level one is one through six. Level two is seven through 12. All right, so they got the lowest level two curse. Is that what I said? Yes, I did. Level two curse. Keep up, pals. We don't got all, we don't got all fucking day, okay? <laughs> Come on. I don't love that. So I think let's keep looking for potential hiding spots. We will be doing a test at the end. There is a Kahoot. It's snowy. It's theoretically possible, like, he could be here. He could be here. So we should, you know, watch out for the architecture. Here's the thing. There are a bunch of these little mountain towns in this, in this sort of stretch. And my guess is that he's in one of them. Yes. In this area. So he's not allowed to move. As I understand it, right? As the hider, you hide, then you chill. Right? You can't, he can't like, oh, I'm going to take a train. Unless he gets the curse for that, right? Um, because if he went further down, like all the way down to Lugano, mm -hmm. that's, it like, looks like Italy. You know, it's like really Mediterranean looking. Um... Oh my god. Um, now we have to find an apple. And it's a little moist. It's a little moist, and this is not a huge town. I heard it's wet. Sure we oh! Train, what if they're in the to town Amarant, Which is a bigger place. Okay. I think it makes sense. I'm gonna use right now so that we don't have to wait. Game time decision. We've okay. taken the train. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, this weather definitely. Tosses another Damn, variable man. into Talk this. In that fit. At least we're not Adam having to potentially hide out for hours in it. Sharpie's on deck. The little guys just keep coming. Hello. Hello. Now, where should I? I guess I could like go up there, just because it's far away and that would be annoying. What about in that thing? Are you allowed to go in that thing? Let's go check that out. Pretty sure we're on a cog railway. Yeah. Because you'll notice that it's pretty steep. Yeah, we are rather leaned. Oh my god. Look at this. Fine. I'll bite. What's a cog railway? 
Every fucker on this goddamn train knows what it is. I don't. Okay? I don't know what it is, man. I'm sorry. What is it? It's this. Coggers. Oh. Like for uh, roller coasters. Oh, my God. Look at that. Come on. Crazy. I mean, this has got to be one of my favorite places that we've done jet lag, and we've only just started. Don't slip. Why, why does that keep happening? Do you guys see that, too? And die. We're going to go ahead and not slip and die. This is... This is going to be key to our strategy, is not slipping and dying. This is a fundamental component of the game. Okay, Ew, there's like fences up there. It seems like you can get up there. I wish I knew where he was. I guess it keeps the suspense. Oh. We're playing alongside the Seekers. Interesting, interesting. Welcome to Andermatt. Then it's still raining. Okay, well, Adam could not have gotten a lot further than here if he is in a mountain town in this region. So, feeling good? It's possible that he's here. But first, before we buy any more information, we gotta uh -huh. get rid of this curse. So let's go yeah. get an apple. Like, hopefully this isn't hubris, but like, I feel like we're on the right track. Don't, just don't say anything. I think it'll take um three, two tries to knock the apple off. Uh, the apple off. Apple. Hallelujah. Okay. That's a bad apple. Oh man, it's like this is like one of the worst apples I've ever seen. Get a good apple. Get a bad apple. If you're gonna knock it off, you're not even eating it. I'm optimistic. Yeah. Uh, but I'd like to think that they would learn from their mistake like and correct it. Hard to figure out how to get up here. And it's tiring to get up here. Two good things. Don't die. Do not slip and die. Fines. Get yourself Fires. dry, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Do you don't know your German numbers? Eins, why? Three. I, I want to say try. Sounds right. Yeah. I believe you. Thank you. Okay, what should I throw at you? Um, something softer than the other apple. Snowball. No, that's a horrible a idea. No, not a snow. Rock. Okay, maybe a rock. No! Okay. You, ready? you want something big that you can throw at least 15 feet. What would I throw? I mean, I guess you have to William tell it. So you can't hit the person and have it fall off their head. You need to hit it off their head. Because if you could just kind of raw dog it, I might throw a damn backpack. Because I'll probably hit the whole fucking head. But I don't think that's allowed. Pillow would be good. I feel like I could zip a pillow. I would take a few practice throws, though. I don't know if that's legal. Like, take the apple off the head, just throw the object 15 feet to each other, practice a few times. Good luck, Sam. Oh, I'm not feeling good about this. Okay. Hit the apple. Gotta manifest. Hit the apple. Oh, no. Dude, I think I just saw a fucking in my room. Wow, what a bad throw. All right. It's 11 12. We got five minutes. Try again, five minutes. It says to enter your own risk. Which means I am allowed to enter. Wow. So he's a place in the boy in the hair before his world gets all fucked up. Not really covered. But I guess this little spot is <sighs> neat. What are they up to? Well, the bad news is they are getting closer to me. <laughs> Like, quite close. Let's 
look to see if we can find the building that Adam sent. It's, it's small. If he is here, there's a decent chance. We'll so the only thing they can't do, oh, that's not so bad. It's not like they can't move. So that's not so bad. See the buildings that he took pictures yes. of. Oh, I was more talking about the apple, but yes. Oh. This is uh, a wee bit slushy. It feels like this is small enough that we can check out pretty much everything. Yeah, that's true. Like, you see that building. That building is kind of a similar style, too. Not Wait. Is it? I guess it doesn't have a... Um, what do you call them? Finet? Finets? These things? Not it, but, like, similar. Yeah, again, it, like, it makes me think that he's in, if not here, a town very, you know, right. like, nearby. that serves the same purpose. There's, like, no way that I'll get to stay here. They're going to ask me to do some stupid shit and then have to go all the way back down there. And it's going to suck. I'm just going to get ahead of it. Let's... Let, let, let's let's assume this is going to be the hiding spot. Let's okay. go back into town so that we're ready to respond. That's dumb. To uh, you know questions and stuff. But oh, that I makes feel logic. good about this place. What's the what's the value? Okay, so here's something kind of interesting. What if they? Okay. And I don't know if they know this. Sure. But the next train from where they are to where I am leaves in just under 20 minutes. So he knows where they are. So if they don't get on it, they're going to have to wait a whole another hour to get on a train here. Okay. Which means they need to do this Apple thing and figure out basically where I am in the next, like, 18 minutes. Okay. All right, second try. I called this. Oh, no. Was that a banana? It wasn't a bad throw. A little bit south. A little bit left as well. Oh, no. That was closer, though. Good catch, Ben. Oh, that was so close. Come on. Dang. Great height. A little bit right. Overcorrected. Oh, that was so close. Come on. That was it! I'm not even kidding you. I think Ben's micro adjustment of where his face was from fear of getting hit in the face moved it out of the way. Come on. Am I crazy? Like, right here it hits. And then it like, that's great. I don't know. From my angle, that looks crazy. <laughs> and now I don't blame Ben for closing his eyes like that. All right. Incredible Team Adam news. Uh, they did not get on the train here, which means even if they do figure out that I'm here, they're not going to be able to get here for another hour. So I have a guaranteed additional hour. I'm going to go back to my little cafe. Go to your cafe, man. Oh, a cappuccino on a cold day in the Switzerland. Man, he's living the life. Have a little, have a little Aperol spritz. Feel crazy. I had this Santa growing up. It would sing, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Zermatt. Oh my god, it makes so much sense. Are they really? Thanks. Still doing anything? They can't be fine. Because I, I guess if you were throwing a bigger object at me. Should I throw my backpack? No. What if I threw, like, my entire jacket? It's not going to reach. Right, like, I feel like that would be more likely to hit it. Here's what you do. Get a watermelon. Put the watermelon in your jacket. Throw the watermelon over the head of Ben. The jacket draping off the watermelon will drag it across the head, knocking the apple off. Oh, it brushed it.
All right, yeah, close enough. I think without the head tilt, it still would have knocked it off. I was double-checking that. It, it, it isn't exactly something that would stir William Tell in his grave, but yeah, close enough. Yeah! He moved his head, but it would have hit. It would have hit regardless. It would have hit. If he was a statue, it would have hit the top of the statue and then probably knocked it lightly. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What do we want to ask? That William Tell didn't kill his kid. Is that something you normally bring up when you talk about random people? Is he thought to have? What? I did too. Yeah, where's my fucking cookie? Watch your mogul mail. Nice video. Thank you very much, man. Hope you subscribed. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fuck yes. This, this apple is getting uh, mushy. You want to bite? I do not. I think we need to figure out if he's in this. Little... Yeah, because because I, I I think you're right. Because like we'll have to change strategy dramatically if he's not in the near surroundings. He could have either continued down. It's my mogul mail voice. Like, it'll... Thank you for watching mogul mail today. Ed and Ross, crazy man. Cry Andrew Tate, sexy, no. That's my uh, mogul bad voice. Lee, he could also be all the way on the other side. Yeah, which would be... Which would be real bad. Yes. But I think we have to just check. What we know is that if he came here, he could basically only have gotten within 10 miles of here, within his two and a half hour head start. I think I think let's do a 10 mile radius. It's pretty risky, but if if it hits, then we're I mean we know we're close. All right. Oh, I think it's a yes. An answer. What do you say? I think it's He's a yes. 10 miles of here. Oh. Baby, okay, we didn't majorly f up at all. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. If he is within 10 miles of here, he's either like in here or one of like maybe two other towns. Editing going crazy. But like, we couldn't find those buildings. Oh my god. Oh, the slush is slushing. Yes, it's very slush. <sighs> so, like, if he's this way, he's there. That doesn't look big enough to me. No, that's like nothing. If he's this way, I mean, he could be hospital in towel, but that looks pretty small. I mean, we could we could try and ask a precision question that is the, unique to here. The hotel one could be interesting because there are definitely very expensive hotels here. We would get an answer on whether he's like, those hotels are markedly cheaper. Much cheaper. And than oh, these. No. So we would know, and like all of these are in the 200s. Yeah, I, I'd say so let's send that. It's cheap, Smart. and uh, it'll give us a good sense of where he might be. Okay. Why don't you do something like this? Two reasons. One, I, mean, I think no. you're underestimating the level of creativity, effort, knowledge that these people have to put this together. I, I don't even have that expertise. Two, why do it when you can react to it? You know what I mean? Come on. Come on. Come on. No? Come on. Don't say I have no effort. You know, because I do some things that I think are cool. Um, you know, I'm paid in turn, whatever. I need both. They asked the hotel question. And there are a few hotels here. I need to get next to. I have permission to watch, Ben. Don't ask if it's transformative. I don't want to answer questions I know the answer to. The cheap hotel. Okay, let's go. All right. This hotel, nightly price 100. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it, that was a pretty good question. It's, so basically what happened is, in the town where they are, there are no hotels that would round to any of the same numbers as the hotels here. There are hotels in another nearby town, one of which would round to the same numbers that would round here, so. Wow. But I wasn't close to that one, so I had to run. What is the rounded price of your nearest hotel? Next to it. So now they don't know which one I'm in, but I think they now can narrow it down to two, unfortunately. Well, it can't... Is it even a CBD drink? I don't know, because, like, there's no chance that you can just spell, sell tea. They definitely have cannabis drinks around the world. They had, or sorry, excuse me, CBD drinks around the world. There was a huge CBD drink marketing campaign when I was in Japan. I was shocked. Iced tea, spiced iced tea, the vending machine. I think it may might literally just be weed flavored, which is 
rough. Okay. Oh, we got an answer. Smoke yes. that pressure, dude. One hundred dollars. It's interesting. Let's look at let's look at the amount. Okay, well they are at the train station, uh, which I don't love. Don't love that. Don't love that. There are basically only the two hotels that we can find in the entire 10 mile radius that we got to yeah. that he could be next to. There's one okay. in Hospital and there's one in Arolo. The thing is, it takes 30 minutes to go there. And we'd have to transfer. Yeah. It only takes 15 minutes to go to this place. I think it would make sense to go to this place, check it, and then if he's not there, yeah, I think I agree. Earlier, Adam said they're 20 minutes away. I feel like he's at Hospital. It'd be pretty risky to go to Aralo and then have to backtrack. That would be almost like 45 minutes. Yeah. And, you know, assuming the timing. Okay. We're going to get on the train and we're going to go check Hospital. I got a tub of whipped cream cheese and a bag of barbecue chips. Thick, crinkle cut. Let's fucking go, Heidi. We're living fucking good tonight, aren't we? Let's fucking go. Come on. Let's get crazy with it. Who's gonna stop us? No one. This could no be one's it. gonna stop us today. Well, it could be more currently going away from. Dude, I thought his voice was the fucking train announcer. Welcome to Hospital. What? What? What is this angle that you're filming at? This is a crazy angle. Welcome to Hospital. We're committed now. The next train's not for 30 minutes. If he is in this town. And You're right over time. It. That means that he has I hate to, to say pick it. out his hiding place. It happens so rarely. Which but. means if we ask him. Oh, well, that's hey, cute. Photo. Hiders may not leave their hiding spot for any reason once the seekers are in their zone, meaning they're unable to complete photo and oddball requests. Oh, or an oddball question. He won't be able to answer it. I wonder how and wide his zone tell is. Us that he is and, here. And, he will and he will tell us that he cannot answer it. Okay, I think I'm into it. Requesting photo of train station. Why is everyone spamming Dutch angle? Okay, so. Is that like doggy? If he can take <laughs> the photo. Stupid joke. He will take the photo, which means that he is not here. And if he tells us in the end game, then we are in the end game. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Some jokes are for you, some jokes are for me. They don't all have to be for you. Let's not get greedy. Oh, well, we got an answer. Thank you, Cam, for the membership. Oh, okay. He's here. Okay. He's here. Okay. In the end game, Ben. He has enough coins to do one more curse. Yeah. His 55 coins. Calm down. I can't, be I can't believe that we directly went to the right town. Oh, that is unbelievable. So, okay. The one thing that we do know is his hiding spot is almost certainly covered. Because he would be hypothermic if he's not covered in his hiding spot. Yeah. That's why I'm different. I would hide in the snow. Adam Adam gets cold really quickly. Go to the snowy mountains, find a tauntaun, cut its fucking stomach open to the lightsaber. That bridge sleeping. can be a hiding spot. That's not a bad, that's not Should a bad Should we check bad. it out? Team. I said find a tauntaun, Leah. Sam? No, ew, that sounds weird. Does not look like here. No, I think we have to we have to ask some of the precision questions to really okay, figure well, out. Okay, well, let's be one hundred percent sure with our math. We can ask three. Should we ask upward photo, maybe? Uh, yeah, upward photo. Because like, he wait, 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 Precision questions cost 10 coins, meaning Ben and Sam can ask three before giving Adam enough to buy an additional cursed dice, which would leave Adam with 95 coins. Why is it that he needs to spend 90 for a curse now when it was 50 for one before? 100 coins. Oh, so it costs. Okay, so it's they can ask three before. Ah. Ah. So you have to buy two dice? I thought you could buy one dice. Dice key. Oh, buy an additional curse dice. 
meaning he could already buy one, but he could get an additional one. Uh, Cody Davis, give me five gifted. How Very basic. How's 2024 treating you? Cheers from Canada. Hayden, no, nothing wrong with the basic question. Thank you for the 1399 Canadian. I appreciate that. Uh, it is, it's going great, man. It's a good year. Working hard. Making cool stuff. Enjoying the ride. I hope your year's going well, too. Maybe. Uh, yeah, upward photo. Because, like, he's got to be... You have no hose! Sorry. Whoa, I just blew up. So, I'm sorry. Someone said you have no reading comprehension. I took that personally. I apologize. I don't know about your hose status. I'm sorry. That it, Woof. I'm trying to reel that in. I'm trying to reel that in. I'm working on that. That's a me thing. <laughs> You brought the demons out. Sorry, that was a touchy subject, though. That's true. So I think, like, Upward Photo would tell us what to look for <laughs> that he's under. Yeah, uh, let's ask for the Upward Photo. Okay, good. This is what I was hoping for. They requested the photo, the precision photo, facing upwards. That's why I went up here, because I think you'll only be able to see the sky if I place it in the right spot. Oh, that's beast. That's beast. <laughs> that's useless. Should we push into the town a little I more? I mean, I look, I think that there's a good chance that we could just see him. Yes. There's like nothing here. God damn. DJ Eggy. Oh. Thank you the 14 months. This is where he took the photo. Is it? Maybe. Look at that. Is it? Yeah, I it is. It looks similar, but I don't think it was that. I don't no, see it the is. other building. Oh, unless... Oh, no, wait, Ben, Ben, Ben. Look at that, Look, Ben. This thing. Damn, that was beast. Yeah, that's it. They just geo it. geogessered his ass. Okay. Oh, he's on the photo. He's on the photo. Okay, let's take a look-see. They're gonna be so oh, mad. This is exciting. They're gonna be so mad. Let's take a look-see. Oh, that's Stop just pure sky. They're gonna be so mad. Well, how is... Is he... He's inside or outside. Fuck. Okay. Is he giving himself hypothermia? That might... Be, I mean, I guess that means that he is... Certainly not like near a building. Well, like, how is it pure sky? Now the problem is there's another type of photo they can request, and that one I think might screw me. What is it? Right. Take a photo we'll below see. you. Should we ask front facing? I mean, that would definitely help. I think it makes sense. Can he just face the camera downwards? What does that mean? I mean, can you think of anything that would be more helpful? That would be really? Drink. Oh. Okay, all right. Look. Mods, we can't just have someone come in here, <laughs> say Hitler, a minute pass, nothing happened, and then drop Nazi Hitler. Okay? They're literally escalating. Now we got two at it. Mods, please. We're sleeping at the wheel. They're escalating. There's a little castle up there. That would be the kind of spot that he would go. He likes castles, Sam. I think also this way it could make sense. Do we want to get front-facing photo? I know I'm on the third monitor, but you know, come on, you know? <laughs> Put the chat on the second. I mean, I think so, right? I think that's probably the most useful. I was really hoping they wouldn't request that. MXS got their group today, Wally. I, I, I know this is a bit of an irrelevant point. They, he keeps asking when it's MXS play. They're going to play end of this month. They got their group. They're in a group with Oxygen. Uh, and the other side has Turtle Troop and M80. So we're in a pretty tough pool. Without moving, hold your camera at arm's length. Take a picture facing you. Oh, yeah, that is a dead giveaway. That is that's, a that's D E A D dead giveaway. Here's the thing: if he knew that was coming, why wouldn't he have not adjusted himself slightly? Or are you not allowed to move even in iota? All right, he sent us. You ready? Oh, that's the castle. I think he is. He that's is. The he, he is fully exposed. He is. <laughs> is he on top of the castle? Okay, uh, I think it's time to break the glass. Cursed dice. Enrolled cursed dice. Cursed dice. Just, yeah, I just, I need a six. Anything other than a six is basically just this. Well, <laughs> I dropped the cursed dice. Oh, that's funny. The, uh, I don't even know if I'd count that. I know it's not the best role for you, but I don't even know if I'd count what I just saw. What was that?
I mean, I, I know, I guess it fell, so I get it. You're probably not even gonna do that. Swiss clock. Before you ask your next question, you must clap 15 seconds after your other team member starts a timer within 0.5 seconds on each side of 15 seconds. If you fail, you must wait at least 10 minutes before reattempting. That's funny. Okay, so he asked the Swiss, he, he sent us the Swiss clock curse, but it's a question one. I don't think we need any more questions. No. So no. let's just skip that for now. Okay, I feel like maybe this way. Unlucky. Put it in the map. Well, they don't need to it's use not it. really showing the map. Yeah, it doesn't really show a good walking route. I think we need to suss it out visually. I think that they're looking for how to get here, which is hard. He's got to be so cold. I feel so I bad. I don't know how we get to that. Yeah, I think it's back through town. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Careful. Should we check this out, you think? Damn, is this right? Huh? Oh, the snow is so deep. Fuck. There's no I time mean, limit to finding him. He's I guess there's boots, a four day time limit on the whole thing, though. Yeah. Oh, it's Joe for four hours and a half. Is that good? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It's Joe, right. bro. You did. They're going to find your curse dice, though. Well, he's not here, but there is an inside. Oh, he left the door open? Me, I'm different. I put up a lock. I make a sign in Swiss, German Swiss to be specific. It says, come in, you die. Chance of collapse, 95%. They never walk in. Jason, they get five gifted. Adam. Are you out there? Yeah. Can I fucking see you? This sucks. Uh, Do they have to touch him? Totally sucks. Well done, Mr. Chase. He's in first! Ben gets to hide! Oh, this sucks. Right. You picked quite a spot. Well, you guys uh, got really close to me really fast and it really scared me. And then you hung out two miles away from me for about two hours, and that was awesome. Well, on the other hand, we took the most direct route here. Yeah, I know, that sucked for me. I saw yeah. you did that, and I was really annoyed about it. Yeah, I mean, mix of, honestly, I think we we, we, we put some good skill into that. You basically yeah, have the safest right route, and it happened to be right. There you go. All right. I also think the strategy of using 25 mile, 10 mile radiuses was really good. It starts now. Boom. Oh. I have some bad news for you. There are two trains currently going through the station, neither of which I think you're going to make. I would love to watch a Ben Hyde episode. That shit gonna be sick. Average Canadian Jason Snyder thinking the memberships. Ah, shit's gonna be sick. A Ben hiding episode? They're never gonna find me. Let's get his ass. Actually, I gotta pick up the pace. It comes out tomorrow, yeah? I don't think we'll watch it tomorrow, but it does come out tomorrow. Or you fact, can watch it right now on Nebula. Dropples. Trees. But this might be the end of my round. All that and more this season on Jet Lag. And of course, as you might know by now, you can watch uh, every single episode. Wait, Ben's not here. It's because he's still hiding. They haven't found him to this day. Spoilers. Including episode two one week early on Nebula. That means you can watch episode two right now on Nebula. And Nebula's got all kinds of other great stuff, including original content from a lot of your favorite creators. There's Name Modern seven. Conflicts, a great series from real life lore uh, that okay. explores modern warfare. There's a new episode of that out actually right now. Okay. Taboo on screen from Broey Deschanel, which uh, explores how filmmaking approaches taboo subjects like sex and murder and even more taboo things that actually I won't even cool. mention here. 
uh, the history of the B2 by Mustard. Also, uh, we have done some original stuff. In addition to All like right. various okay. documentaries well, and stuff that we've made, lot. we released a whole episode of outtakes from the last season of Jetlag. Oh that video of outtakes is actually longer than the first episode of that season. Plus, the whole first pilot season of Jetlag is exclusive oh on Nebula Crime Spree. They look so young. So there's a lot of stuff there. And those are just some of the ways that we focus on giving Wait, what, did Sam lose a bunch of weight? Why does he have the biggest jawline of all time? Spree. So there's a lot of stuff there. And those are just Sam lost some weight. Some of the ways that we focus on giving the best viewing experience possible to our Nebula subscribers. We also have the Layover podcast. Uh, we release that every single week when we're in season. Started mewing Diving a bit. deeper into each episode, you know, talking about the game design, the strategy, Thank you very much the behind the scenes Randy moments. We argue about why we were actually really smart when we did the thing that kind of might be perceived as dumb and stuff like that. We also did a, uh, an episode uh, right before this season started doing a super deep dive into the game design of hide and seek and before that we played a game that was uh similar but not legally the same as family feud uh on it it was a lot of fun uh but it's so despicable when people just rip off game shows like that uh, but that podcast is great and it's available exclusively to our nebula subscribers anyway tldr the best jet lag viewing experience is on nebula and it's not that much of a commitment to sign up um especially if you go to nebula.tv slash jet lag because you get 40 percent off which brings the cost down under three dollars a month i think it's basically 250 Whoa. a month at an annual cost like that which you know is cheaper than most twitch subs is and that's that's less than like a third of a latte if you're at a really expensive it's latte less than shop. a third of a and most people buy it's not really good as a metric if you're specifying a really expensive lot. Okay. A third of a latte Last chance every to get day. Gifted. Yeah. So if you stop buying your third of a latte every day, yeah. you can Assuming it's a really Nebula. expensive latte shop. Right. But, you know, anyway, go to uh, nebula.tv slash jetlag to sign up. And thanks in advance for your support. Bye. 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 Where's Ben? Well, that That's is what the I was question, saying. isn't it? No, like, where? Like, oh, he's still in Switzerland. I knew it.